save your energy for the things that you like the most. Put your energies towards the things that make you come alive that only you can do or that you enjoy doing the most. Maybe the things that drive the greatest amount of income for the business and then start considering all of the other stuff as secondary and figure out, do I have enough of this other work that I could pay someone else to do it profitably? A lot of that comes down to pretty objective information about how much capacity do we need versus how much do we have in a given area of the business. Number one, having a model for our business. And then number two, being able to forecast against that model. So how many hours do they work? How much time off do we expect them to take? And where do we expect them to spend their time when they are in the business? How much of that do we expect to be doing work for clients versus perhaps helping with sales and marketing or doing administrative tasks? So we want to articulate those expectations. Then we understand what amount of money we expect to make for each hour that is spent working for clients. Then we have a model for the business. I started a lot like many agency owners and leaders do, which is all by myself. I was designing things and writing things and coding things and really was not an expert at any of it. I just tried to figure it out along the way. At some point, I reached the point that many other people reach where they go, I need somebody else to do some of these things. And so I need to outsource some of that. At some point, we have to build teams or otherwise we're building prisons instead of playgrounds. And I think businesses should be playgrounds. We can project and forecast this person is assigned to this project at half time capacity. Where are our gaps and when are we going to hit those? And we can predict those now about three to six months out. And if we can do that, now that takes the pressure off of hiring. I don't have to hire somebody yesterday. Nine times out of 10, they come through our network. We know where to go to find the trusted people. It's been somebody that we know and trust. I really look for people who are multi-passionate. I'm really looking for people who are experts in their own right, who can help collaborate with me rather than just work for me. I find that those folks are less likely to need to be micromanaged and they bring something to the table that enhances what I'm doing rather than just duplicates what I would have done myself. Because it's not a typical work environment. I'm not going to breathe over your neck. I really want you to contribute. But I also wanna make sure that we're all going in the same direction.